Hi guys, it's Aegis here. So here we are, finally have our uh, Grade 4 and G Guard Mega Colony Unit review for Premium Collection. Unfortunately, I'm not the one to review the card to show you guys the news. Uh, hopefully, maybe next time, if Bushira allows, then maybe I can get a chance. But uh, let's talk about this card because I'm so hyped about this card and uh, its review we need to talk about, it, right? Now, um, both cards are very amazing and there's a lot of things that we can do with these cards but uh, let's talk about the Grade 4 G unit first which is uh, the translation is from Freedom Do so that's my source and the name of the unit is Phenomous Mutant Deity Marik Nantes okay so he got his skill which is the active Vanguard and G-Zone skill once per turn if this unit is in the Vanguard Circle, you may pay the cost as a flip a G zone face up instead. If this card is face up, cost, count of last one, put one regard into your soul. Choose and retire an opponent's regard instead. If retire, draw one and counter charge one. If not retired, choose your opponent's Vanguard and during this turn it gets power minus 10k. So wow, this effect is so amazing. For a lot of reasons. One is that if you actually strike into this card, you don't need to cut off last one, you don't need to put one regard in your soul, you just you can just G flip a unit to activate this skill. And even if you're counter kind of blasting one and put in one regard in soul, you are basically trying to draw and counter charge so you don't lose anything but your opponents actually lose a standing unit. If they have anything instead. If not, they get minus 10k power, which is even more crazy. Um, we don't even talk about Great 4 Gridora just, just now. Just by minus 10k, that's a lot of things that you can do. Um, for example, if you are playing a Magnolia uh, built with Mega Colony, minus 10k power on your opponent's Vanguard meaning all your little small pokes matters and even asking them for more shields so this is really crazy and uh, cards that actually help you out can be like the foxy uh, that we can get because she can activate a uh, attack from back row for one regard so you can do four attacks even if you strike on top of a macaroni right or even if if you can't strike and have your um, Marignantis actually on your G zone, you can still use the effects to uh, minus your opponent's Vanguard for 10k, and then you can use this to increase one attack. Use this to increase one attack. If you choose person right instead, you can attack for six times with their Vanguard power minus 10k, which is very very impressive, right? Uh, also, because you have one more card in soul, so this actually helps you out with your intruder seizures as well. Uh, of course, I did explain Foxy that she also needs a, a soul, so that's another thing. Um, and also, you can, if you try that a flagbird build like I did in premium, you can also do that. Like, we know Flagbird himself can attack for five times without any strike or anything, you just need your parts and you're minusing your opponent's Vanguard uh, for 10k and <laughs> this card can also plus 10k with uh, gut restrictions if you reach 5 attacks so you, see, you can see a lot of things again already happening which is very very nice and because this card can actually do kind of a, a low cost G flip because if you strike him you can just flip your face, uh, a G zone face down to face up in order to use the effect instead of counter last one. So you save counter last and save a regard, which helps you reach to your GBA a lot faster, in a way, right? And because you put cards into your soul, which also means your end line can uh, have some resources you need while uh, minusing 10k on your opponent's vanguard. You're also trying to uh, do guard restriction with crit with power up to uh, just swing at them for a finisher, right? So 
just the minus 10k can do so much. There. We, we don't even talking about the retiring, the draw, the counter charge. Just minus 10k that's doing a lot of things. Also, every, everyone is talking about that, which is Grateful Ghidorah. Because this card is a once per turn skill on Vanguard or G Zone. So you can actually strike into your Great Fork Dora, which everyone loves to when playing Premium Mega, Mega Colony, and then use your Mary Nantis skill on the G Zone. Right? So that's so much things you can do. And you don't even need to strike on top, uh, strike your uh, Marignantis in order to get the effects off. So that is really, really amazing. Given that we are very like popular with the Border Colony combo, that we draw a lot of cards, we use the book to actually increase our power. So then we strike into this, trying the Gridora, limiting our opponents uh, using G Guards, and then through uh, flip up a Marignantis to uh, also use the effect to minus 10k on your opponent's vanguard you're creating a 20k difference at least at least so that's a lot of things you can do with uh, this new G unit and I'm so happy to see this card even when we don't have Gridora even when we don't have Gridora there's so many other things that we can do right uh, like we have this we have this to play, uh, we have this to play, we have this to support um, Magnolia, this is always a uh, multiple attack enabler. So there are so many plays we can still do with Ogredora, but with her, we can do uh, more things even better with more restrictions, which is all we love to do when playing Mega Colony. Yeah. Also reaching GP8 a lot faster can be great, and also as I did mention, the skill is once per turn, but it's not bound by name. So every single copy of your Merrick Nantes can use their effect once. That can be like a game finisher plan. Like you have four of them face up, you have uh, at least two open counter blasts just in case, and you have four regards, then you can just like Keep doing the thing, do it four times, minus your opponent's vanguard for 40k, minus 40k. So they are like usually say a normal vanguard, say average 13k, right? Minus 40, they are minus 27k, 70k, minus uh, 27k. And you can do so many things when they are in negative number, right? So that's just impressive. Just impressive. Also, uh, you can also put like units like Water Gang into your soul so that you can play uh, like the machining stack below to actually pull them back out because you put regards into your soul, then you pull them back out with your uh, stack below. Then, wow, <laughs> there's a lot of things that you can really do. Yeah, so there's so much possibilities we have with this card and I'm so happy to see it. Now uh, let's talk about the uh, G guard as well which is uh, Restraint Mutant Deity Cruable. So this is a G Guardian and the effects to me is also quite impressive. When this unit enters the Guardian Circle as a cost to soul plus one, during this battle this unit gets uh, 30k shield extra and your opponents can choose to rest any number of their regards. For each unit rested, the guard value will be minus 10k during the battle. So in order to completely cancel all your pluses, they need to at least rest 3 regards. Then you are just a normal G guard. But, you re but they have to have 3 units standing in order to do that, which your grade 4 is basically telling them no. So they might have one left, which minus 10k, you still plus 20k is still a 35k shell. That's impressive. Like, 
with Mega Colony, we have quite a bit of G guards, right? Uh, let me see if I can just quickly grab some examples for like talking about it. Okay, let's pick two uh, common G guards we use. One is a uh, Wizard Lady, which she will not give you any extra shield value. She will give you draw, she will give you counter charge, she will give you soul charge, but she will never gain power. Or, Mortal Force which is the more uh, common starting Giga that we use, that uh, can be a 25k shield. But this, this G guard, can just be a. Uh, uh, 45k shield at least uh, at best and maybe 25 maybe 35 right and you are also limiting your opponent's options that's really massive because um, one you might already stun your opponent's regard so they don't have enough to do any minuses or they actually having a harder decision than our religious lady because for Lilith Lady, they will just say, okay, you don't gain any uh, shield value. You just draw, you just gonna charge, you just so charge, you just do your thing. I don't care. Some people do that. But with this card, you can't. Because if you don't rest your regards, the attack is not going through. Unless over trigger, probably. Normally, that's the case. So, they have to choose. If they rest their regards, meaning they might not have the boost, uh, if they are Excel clans, they might not have enough attacks. That's, you can see how annoying this card can be. And what you need to do is only play this card out, so last one, and he doesn't even have any uh, GB restrictions, so that's even better. You can just place him like he's a first G guard and be happy about it. Because a lot of decks, when they go for the stride, they're usually hitting you quite big and uh, because it's your first uh, defending like G G guard usage you probably might not be able to use the village lady because you haven't tried yet because she requires you to be a GB1 and this is great but we just have something better so yeah I'm just so happy to actually see all these units out I am going to get a lot of them no matter in JP, in English, I will get them both so that I can play them. And uh, I did mention we can play this card, these cards, with Ovi for Grateful Gridora. It's just up to our uh, imagination, up to our preparations. So that's great. And just back to the Grade 4 a little bit more. Uh, because as I did mention, we can use uh, units like Magnolia, we can use units like uh, Flagbird, and of course our Order Colony combo. But say if we don't have Gridora, say Order Colony does not, does not exist anymore, that's okay. Because even if we're shriding, they get the name copied, so that means, for example, uh, Flagbird. We can just minus 10k in order and, and use in the pulse to still do our thing. This I have explained, we can use the proxy to do the thing. So that's really a lot of things that we can do with or without the Great Focus Draw. It's just up to how we uh, build the decks and I'm excited to actually try different things out if I get the time, if I get the chance. Um, and when I get the cards of course, even though I can just proxy it to just try, but I do need to have some playmates uh, for premium right now. I'm a little bit lag on that, but I'm very happy to see these cards. Um, the only thing is just that I'm not the one reviewing them. But yeah, again, uh, I am opening to chances whenever they come. So hopefully one day I can actually uh, reveal one of the new Mega Colony to you units to you guys that uh, not hyping only myself up. Also hyping you up. So, uh, hope this video helps you understand what you can do with these two cards. Some of them you might already see them uh, being discussed on online, but there are some other stuff that can still be uh, found out because 
there are so many mega economy units that we can use or even from Stoikia that can help building the deck creating our own uh, winning formula winning image in order to just scare our opponents or just do a sudden strike to become like kind of an anti mana deck someday maybe yeah so let me know your thoughts down below uh, feel free to discuss and of course I will join the discussion in the comments below as well like this video if you like the ideas uh, and if you are also a fan of a mega colony and also a fan of these units spam the like button and also subscribe so you can see uh, me like using these cards in the future when they release which for JP will not be too long so don't need to worry about that I will have that cover and you will see that profiles you will see that fights I will try to get them up uh, try my best to do that then you can even see more on like these things that I've talked about and how well they actually work with the deck with or without great focus draw. Yeah. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Signing off.